Hello and welcome back to the Spoonie Stitcher channel. I'm Shannon the Spoonie Stitcher. We're in my bedroom, not the stitchery, but uh, that's life. <laughs> so um, this is going to be a really kind of cool video I'm going to put together over time. You guys are going to watch me create something. I thought that would be kind of fun and kind of different. So um, some of you will remember that I made a video where I showed my Tsum Tsum collection. Well, my Little Mermaid one. And I showed you Ursula. And I said, wouldn't it be cute if Ursula had Flotsam and Jetsam because they didn't make them for these. And a lot of you agreed that Flotsam and Jetsam, little mini ones that fit, would be super cute. So, I got started on drawing them. And then I liked my idea so much that I made a good drawing. <laughs> and I found out which one was which. So that was cool. So yeah, we have an idea. We have a size that we need to stick to. And I have yarn, hold on. I shopped my stash and I found this beautiful color for the frills. This is Premier Basics Worsted in the color teal. I'm really sorry about the lighting. And then I also had Impeccable by Loops and Threads in the color Aqua for their skin. So, like that. I will show a picture so you can see the colors. Pretty close, right? Yeah. I also have my inspiration from the big one that I made. This is Jetsam. This is Jetsam. <laughs> so I learned that the uh, yellow eye is on the left if it's Flotsam and the right if it's Jetsam. So. so they won't look quite like that. They'll look a little bit different. They'll look a little more like this. They um, will not have the flat tummy though. Um, I'm not 100% sure how to do that quite yet, but we will see. And I decided to bring you guys along for this, par this part because it should be a fairly small, <laughs> no pun intended, uh, fairly quick project to make, so. Let's get started. So welcome to my workspace. <laughs> so what we've got here is my furls hook with the beginning of Flotsam and or Jetsam. And I think it's gonna be a good size because let me get my Tsum Tsum. This is Ursula. We need it to be smaller than Ursula. And yeah, I think we're doing okay. Okay, yay. So yes, I crochet in my bed with my heating pad. <laughs> this, this is how I crochet. So see that little pile over there? That's all my drawings and sketches and all kinds of stuff. And uh, oh, you can even see Beatrice. There you go. Yep. Sorry about the fan. So I have uh, it lined up next to Ursula. Well, his little snout isn't perfectly lined up, but you get the idea. And yeah, I think he's a good size. So now I'll just make two. What do you guys think? And here they are. So I just added a false French knot for the eyes. Uh, tutorial linked down below if you want to know how to do that. And I did a surface crochet along their back and then single crocheted and slip stitched into those stitches. So it created this ridge. And they're the perfect little size. Look at that. For their teeth, I just took my needle and just went in a top stitch, went in the back stitch, pulled the yarn through on both sides and then tied a knot and hid it inside the body. And that's their little teeth. So there we go, look. They're the perfect size for Ursula. Oh my goodness. It's so cute. So here are all my little creations that I made to go with my Tsum Tsum set. Uh, Flounder is not a Tsum Tsum. Flounder is just 
me wanting to take something to the theater with me to see the Little Mermaid movie. <laughs> yeah, isn't he cute? Okay, but anyway, this is Harold, the little, um, well, Harold, actually. Harold the Herald, <laughs> that's his name. Um, he's a little announcer, um, seahorse from the 1989 movie. So I wanted to make him. And then I made Vanessa, complete with shell necklace. And then you see Flotsam and Jetsam. So thank you so much for going on this little journey with me. This was a fun little video. I may have to make more. Let me know if you like these kind of videos where I kind of show you my process. Thank you so much for joining me today. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Remember, life happens, yarn helps, and Spoonies can stitch it up too.